all right everybody i hope you're all doing okay today so today's video isn't a gold farming video rather it's a continuation of a previous video where i solo scarlet monastery cathedral as mentioned i did say that i'd do another video showing you guys how to get a hold of these new items from ongoro which since we're on the topic of that then of course if you like the look of that video then you can go ahead and check it out. You can find it in a card in the upper right hand portion of the screen right now, or you can find the link to that video in the description to this video. So showing how to get these specific items, that's just the first part of this video. For your information below in the description as well, there will be timestamps for your convenience. Since this is gonna be a fairly lengthy video, the second part of this video is actually something that I recorded before Christmas and was something that I had going on behind the scenes. It's just that I didn't really have enough time to finish it sooner. And now I feel is the perfect chance to include that footage as it's all relevant here. Since those items shown later on are pretty essential for soloing places like Scarlet Monastery. So with that being said, let's crack on. Okay guys, so once we've landed in Ongoro Crater, what we have to do is we simply, we go over here from the Flight Master. And then we'll, we'll come to this cave right here. So all you do is you go straight into the cave. Okay, so here it is. Sorry, it wasn't a goblin. It's a uh, it's a gnome. <laughs> but yeah, this gnome here called J D Collie. Now, once you speak to her. Obviously, I, I can't do it because I've already completed the quest, but um, you speak to her and she'll give you a quest where you have to get seven of each color crystal. So that's the seven of the red, seven of the blue, seven of the green, and seven of the yellow. As you may or may not know, all of these uh, crystals that you can get from Ungoro are found on the auction house as well if people are selling them. So the best time to go do this quest is I recommend that you do this whilst you're leveling on your way to level 60. Um, that way, you know, you obviously get experience from doing the quest, but also when you do start the quest, I recommend already having these seven of each crystal in your inventory in preparation for this, just to make it that much faster. That way you don't have to do what I did, which is spend about half an hour to an hour running around the entire area like an idiot, just trying to find these specific crystals because Although despite the fact that they are literally everywhere, sometimes you're going to run into the problem that I had, which is basically, you know, there, there's an overwhelmingly amount of the, the red ones and the green ones. But as for the blue, they're more rarer, or at least they are for me at the time. Um, same for the yellow ones. It took me absolutely ages to find all of the yellow ones because it was just all of the other colours. So basically, once you've done that, you, you simply hand in the quest once you've got all of the crystals and then she'll, she'll, um, she'll do like a little RP thing. And then basically you speak to her again and she'll she'll give you the quest to do all three of these things because she's convinced that the crystals contain power, um, which, as you know, they do. <laughs> um, so yeah, so she'll give you the three quests, you'll accept them and you'll have to go find the eastern, northern and the western pylon. Um, so once you've discovered these, you basically, you come back here, speak to her, hand in all three of the quests, and once you've done that, then you'll be on your way to getting all of the items. And once you've done that, that's pretty much it. That's you completely finished then. Then all, all you need to do is simply decide whichever crystal that you want to get, you know, whether it's the, the charge, the restore, or any of the other ones that you get from there. Um, you know, for us specifically, obviously in the last video, we only did the, uh, the restore and the charge ones, which are both found in the northern one. Now, I'm not exactly sure what the other two give you specifically. I heard people say that one of them gives you like a, a thorns effect or something similar to the retribution aura where obviously it just does damage to each attacker um, every time you get attacked. Um, as for the other ones, like I say guys, I'm not entirely sure what they are. Um, but she does give you a book which tells you basically uh, which kind of crystal you need for each thing. So as you guys know, for the, the one that we have, it's the northern pylon here. So this obviously like you see here, it gives us the crystal restore and the crystal recharge. So for the restore, which does um, the heal over time effect, what you need is you need 10 uh, yellow power crystals and you need 10 green power crystals. Okay. And again, same for the charge. You're going to need another 10 uh, yellow power crystals. And this time it's 10 red power crystals okay and obviously if you go to the other ones um which you can find on the map right here look fortunately my add-on says the location so i don't have to travel to each of them um so obviously the northern one is right here just near marshall's refuge the eastern one is right here just near this um 
this area here. So that gives you the crystal force and the crystal spire. And then the western one all the way over here, which gives you crystal yield and crystal ward. Now again, like I say guys, I'm not entirely sure what, what the yield and the ward one do. Same for the, the force one and the spire one. I'm not entirely sure what either of them do. Um, you know, I'm just showing you guys um, how, how to get this and, you know, w which one gives us the ones that were shown in the last video. So moving on to the next portion of the video now, and this is in Stockades where you'll find me testing out one of the trinkets. Okay guys, so here we are in Stockades just testing out the trinket just to see how much it actually works. Um, so as you can see, all my gear is exactly the same except this time instead of having Briar Wood Reed, we've actually got the Force Will Equipped. So we're not going to pull the entire dungeon, we're just going to pull about five or six mobs. So here we go. We'll start a timer as well so you can see it. Uh, what I've done is I've got Devotional up for this one. Um, in fact, I tell you what, we'll remove that as well. So, you know, there's a there's a few mobs here. We'll take away that as well. As you can see right now, nothing's going off at the minute. We've we've got quite a few of them on us. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mobs even. So, with this, you can see they hit anywhere between nine and all the way up to twenty, right? So wait for it to go off. There goes Uther's light. There we go. So as you can see, look, it's reduced it quite a bit. You know, now they're only hitting between nine and what fourteen the most there, sixteen, fifteen, ten, twelve, and then it'll go back up again. Yeah, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-two. Yeah. So it. it Realistically, in stockades at least, it reduces the damage in half, which is pretty damn nice to be honest. Uh, let's just keep testing this out. There we go again, guys. Remove that quickly. You know, 4, 12, 10. And then when it goes off. Yeah. So, all in all, guys, you're looking to reduce your damage in half taken by these sorts of mobs. Um, so if you ask me, for the 10 second duration it pops, it's pretty damn good. So the inspiration of this video came from an in-game mail I received from a friend of mine, which says, Just bought myself a Flurry Axe. Waiting to equip until I see your video on it though. I paid 215 gold for it and it doesn't sit quite right with me yet. Merry Christmas mate. Kaladin. Merry Christmas to you my friend and I'll respond to your mail in a bit but first I just need to continue on with this video. Not only this in-game mail I received I also received a comment like I said on one of my videos that it's basically saying the same thing. Um, so in, in response to both of these um, yes use the axe it's absolutely amazing. So to be specific about which axe exactly it is guys it's actually this one the flurry axe and um, so as you can see on my server according to tsm it's about 380 odd gold sure some people can get it cheaper like as you can also see i got mine for 250 which i did have to haggle a little bit not gonna lie and um, but even still between 200 and 300 gold maybe even 400 gold it might seem expensive for just a level 42 epic but honestly once you find out how good it is which you will see in a minute guys um you know you'll actually turn around and start saying you know what this is actually under valued because it's so good basically the the main reasons why this is so good is because if you take a look at the speed it says it's got a 1.50 speed rating so straight away just off the bat that's absolutely amazing now also guys if you take a look at the proc it has a chance on hit that will grant you one extra attack on your next melee swing if you take this into account in conjunction with seal of light you're looking at about 150 hp being restored back to you every second and a half now not only that if the proc goes off as well that's about 300 hp or so instantly now obviously when you're in places like dead mines or shadowfang keep or whatever where the mobs don't really hit a lot you, you can imagine that makes quite a big difference right obviously if you combine it with things like the demon forge breastplate and they're all going off at the same time as well as reducing even more damage that you take with things like the force of will and uther's strength you can imagine that you might be close to becoming invincible at this point now also take into account you've got a school flame shield which 
which also does a life stealing attack. Um, so yeah, guys, all these items in conjunction working together can seem like a pretty amazing idea. So yeah, guys, that's just a little bit about the axe. Okay. Not only that, I've also got the life stealing enchant on it, which also adds in for extra self healing, which is good. Um, I'll be the first to admit, obviously, the life stealing enchant doesn't do a great deal, but it all adds up, which is really good. Um, so if we also take a look at the other uh, new items that I've got, as you can see. I recently got, if you remember from the Black Rock Depths Room video that I did, I got the Force of Will, which is, is very good. In itself, it's very similar to the Blessing of Sanctuary buff that you've got, where it reduces all melee damage taken by up to 25 for 10 seconds, which is very good. Also, guys, we've got the Uther's Strength, which has a 2% chance of when struck in combat of protecting you with a holy shield so they, those three items you know the axe and the two trinkets are, are the main things that i've got recently that in my opinion just these three items in themselves have made a huge difference which now we're on to that subject let's take them out for a spin and see what they can do shall we okay so now on to the clip where i show you all of the items working together Okay, so a little bit of info before we start. Obviously, we, we start off just here where the, the letter A is. And um, the plan is, obviously, if you remember my last Stockades video, what I usually do is I'll, I'll pull all of this uh, centre bit here. And then what I usually like to do is run down here, go grab that room there. And if I can make it, I'll grab that room there as well. Um, so that's usually where the first pull ends. Um, so what we'll be doing in this video today is I'll be doing the exact same thing. So running all the way up there, grabbing the mobs and, and finishing around here. You'll also notice in this run, I'm I'm completely solo as well um so now you know the plan for that let's get on with it shall we as for buffs what i'll do is for now i'll just start off by using devotion aura i'll give myself greater blessing and wisdom and i'll also give myself divine favor um if you check my bags out obviously i've got no no potions no no buffs or anything like that obviously i've got a few health potions and whatnot but we're not using that you know we're just using our own self buffs we're not using any kind of food buff any kind of potion or anything like that so let's get on with the pool shall we I'll also start the timer as well guys so you can get an idea of it so we'll go around here use seal of light grab that mob there and as you can see the force of will is procking already which is good so we'll grab this boss here there's Uther's light going off as well these mobs here so I'm doing pretty well for HP at the minute guys uh, so we'll just grab this one here in fact, if I'm honest, I was doing really well up until I got stunned just there. Uh, we might need to uh, bubble in a second. Right, so we'll lay down Consecration, change over to Retribution Aura. Now keep an eye out on my HP guys for this. I know I'm getting stunned a lot, which isn't helping. But just watch out for my HP. You'll notice that sometimes it does go up. Obviously when I get stunned it affects it, but you know. Just watch it when I don't get stunned. Okay, I might need to bubble in this as well. Yeah, we'll, we'll bubble for that. See, I think the problem with that is obviously the bubbles, but you know, you, you'll see in a second. I'll do some more pulls. So we'll just finish this. So we'll just start out by going down here, activate Seal of Light. We'll grab this mob here. So I may need to bubble during this uh, this run, just for a self heal. But you'll notice I'll only need the single heal. As you can see, our Uther's strength is going off there as well, which is really good. So is the force of will. So the main thing is guys, once I stop to lay down my Consecration, I want you to just keep your eye out on uh, my health bar, but also all of the, the green little heals that you can see right now going off. <clears throat> just keep your eye out for that. 
Okay, so we'll, we'll just go in here now. Alright, we'll, we'll go to the next room. Play down Consecration, change over to Retribution Aura, and there we go. Alright, so just keep your eye out on my HP. Obviously it won't go up when I get stunned. But if you notice, I'm not even needing to bubble really. Obviously I'm getting stunned quite a bit here as well, but you know. <coughs> so yeah guys, look at that. I didn't even need to bubble or anything. And if you notice, my HP is actually going up now rather than down. Which is really good. And you know, that's just because of the pure speed on the weapon as well as the, the proc chance. Now, as you can see, it makes a huge difference. So I'll just finish these mobs off and we'll start a second pull, shall we? It's just so you can see, see it in all its glory. Okay guys, so here we go for the second pull. Um, also, before I begin, you, you'll notice, you know, I, what I've done for this dungeon is I've done it exactly the same way as what I did in my last stockades video. Um, I'll also link that stockades video in the description to this one, just so you guys can, you know, compare both of the uh, the videos together, it's just just to obviously get an idea of how much better this setup is versus the other one that I was doing. Let's start a timer and continue with the pull, shall we? So I'll run in here, grab these mobs here. Just uh, grab these. So there is quite a lot of them on this. Uh, this side by the look of it. <laughs> um, but that's no bother. We'll handle it nice and easily, I think. So we'll just grab these mobs here. May need to pop a HP potion, I think, for this bit getting quite low. We also might need to bubble as well before we before we begin. Oh no. Or not. So we'll switch over to Retribution Aura. So yeah guys, I, as you can see, if you look, you know, my HP isn't really going down as much. And some occasions it's obviously going up, like now look. Um, you know, see that was an absolutely huge pull right there, <laughs> and we didn't need to heal once, which is absolutely insane. Uh, not, not even needing to bubble either, which is really, it's really impressive, guys. So yeah, guys, obviously, if you compare the the other stockades video to this, you, you're going to see the the huge difference it makes. Um, you know, look at that, look how many mobs there are. Didn't didn't need to bubble, didn't need to heal, didn't need to do anything. So yeah, it, it definitely makes an absolute huge difference. Um, you know, what because of this, what I would like to do is go back and revisit some of the older dungeons that I have done before with this new setup, just to see how much better it is. Um, the only thing that's stopping me at the minute is obviously, you know, I still need to finish off the the gold farming series that we're doing um, but also there are a couple of items that I want to get before I even go and do that so let's take a look at these items shall we so the first one being this ring heavy dark iron ring now I want this to replace Nagel ring because if you take a look obviously the difference is quite 
uh, substantial, really. Obviously, it's got more armor, it's got more stamina, it's got the same defense, but obviously it loses the, the free arcane damage to each attacker. Combining it with the next item that I'm going to show you won't make a difference at all. But obviously, if you take a look, you know, the extra armor and the extra stamina, I believe the extra stamina is around 100 to 150 HP, which is really good. Um, so that's the reason why I want that, because it'll help increase overall survivability. That's one of the items that I would like from Molten Core. Um, the next one is is these bad boys judgment legs so that's tire two leggings and um, so if you compare them to my my original tire one obviously it's got nearly a hundred more armor it's got more strength it's got more stamina it's got more intellect it's got less spirit but that's not really a problem as a paladin it's also got an extra mana per five and yeah it's got two less healing but if you take a look at them the lawbringer legs only do healing whereas the the judgment ones do damage and healing so overall it, it's a massive difference we obviously need the damage as well for consecration ticks and whatnot um so yeah this the these two items are literally the only things that i have left to get i've seen the uh, these tire two leggings drop multiple times myself actually now uh, since i've been playing wild classic obviously as, as you can guess i've just been super unlucky and not actually won any rolls on them so Hopefully, I'm looking to get these before Blackwing Glare, and when I do, and if I do, then, you know, what I can do is I can go back with these two items and just redo, not all of the dungeons, but some of them, you know, I'm, in particular, I'm looking at Scarlet Monastery, um, Scarlet Monastery Cathedral, actually. Um, the way I'd like to do that is do it solo with the, those two new items, obviously in conjunction with... The, you know the, the new trinkets as well as the act um, so i'm looking to do scarlet monastery cathedral solo uh we can do uh, stockades because this is a really good one as well i would like to do dead mines just because i know that even from last night when i tried it um i could potentially do the whole dungeon in one pull um so yeah that's something that i would like to do with, with this setup and obviously the the two new items that i'm looking to get as well um uh, and maybe a couple of us. It depends how much time we've got left before Phase 3 comes out. Um, so yeah, guys, this pretty much wraps up the video. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed it, and I hope that it's been informative. Um, obviously, I hope that you can see the power of the Flurry Axe, as well as the, the Force of Will and Uther's Strength combined, because... You know, obviously, with the Demon Forge Breastplate and the Skull Flame Shield, even as Holy Spec, 31 points in Holy, it makes a huge difference. You know, you'd actually be surprised at what a Paladin can do, especially with the right equipment. Um, so, yeah, guys, obviously, you know, I hope this answers a lot of your questions, and I hope that, you know, it changes your mind about certain items like this. Um, so, you know, this is really cheap to buy. As you can see, it's, you know, less than 40 gold, so definitely go get that if you're looking to do this sort of thing spend the time farming this i know it's a ball ache and as, as you see in my last video as well where i did farm it you know it took me absolutely ages but hopefully you get more lucky than what i did because <laughs> this item is really good obviously this one's very expensive but again i definitely recommend getting it um same for this i know it's expensive but it will it will more than pay itself off because I, as you've seen guys you know I, I, I did a huge pull just there and I didn't even need to heal once so yeah I definitely recommend getting that guys and as always if you've not already then go ahead and subscribe to the channel as this helps me out massively but when you do don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified when I release new videos also if you enjoyed today's video then show some support by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends but until the next time see ya